Welcome to the Casually Fit Podcast with your host, Nicole. And David. We are just your regular guy. And gal here to talk to you about everything health, fitness, and overall life balance. Because health looks different on everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Casually Fit podcast (laughs) today's gonna be like another i just feel like brain dead i am i get like really red cheeks and red ears when i get really tired and i can feel my cheeks starting to heat up because i'm just i'm exhausted yeah well i think i've been i honestly felt like that pretty much all starting thursday i think Mm -hmm. like i don't know i've just been kind of burnt out man i'm feeling exhausted i could literally go take a nap like i just go yeah honestly (laughs) yeah (laughs) because i've had like three cups of coffee and i feel like it's not enough and i need more it's not doing anything yeah yeah oh speaking of which i'm just about to yawn oh my gosh hopefully i won't be yawning this whole episode and i think it'll be a bit of a quick one because today Mm -hmm. we're just going to do a q a we had another idea to talk about some crossfit news stuff maybe we can talk about crossfit after after the games um but we're going to talk about crossfit stuff but by the time i upload this the crossfit games will pretty much be half done so it would be pointless for us to talk about that Mm -hmm. um so instead we're just going to do a q a this week i asked for some cues on um everything on on my instagram Instagram. yeah sorry (laughs) my brain's dead and uh we'll be answering some of those cues but before we do that david how was your week Mm, my week my week was honestly it was all right i got a pr but in what i got yeah i got a pr in uh my clean and jerk Mm -hmm. which i'm honestly pretty happy about because i've been kind of i've been working on it yeah like i'm happy for you actually yeah so i was able to do uh 245 clean and jerk wow and it was in a power clean Mm -hmm. no squat wow which i gotta work my squat but whatever power clean's pretty good yep still pretty happy about it and it wasn't too shit like the form was actually pretty good well that's good that's always a plus Mm -hmm. and yeah so my shoulder's kind of holding up like it's like I feel it, mm-hmm. but it doesn't hurt when I do movements. So okay, it's we don't weird. want an injury over here because I'm already broken. So we mm. don't need two broken parents. <laughs> so how was uh, your week? <sighs> Not eventful, honestly. Like I've been struggling a lot with my training. Uh, I saw my physiotherapist because I thought you know I'm feeling a bit better, but now. So I had issues with my herniated disc and then I had issues with my lower back being tight because my herniated disc. And now I'm having issues with my upper back because I was compensating so much with my lower back. So I'm fucked. Yeah. Um, but I think you also have like a pinched nerve in your yeah, upper. Yes. So now I think I have a pinched nerve in my upper, but I've been trying to release it, trying to do everything. Nothing's, I mean, it's better, but it's not better. And so, yeah, my physiotherapist was like, okay, well, we can maybe introduce, because we stopped all weightlifting. She said, maybe we can introduce some back squatting and stuff, which I like back squatting. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I also want to go back to my Olympic weightlifting. But then I'm also sitting here going, should I be doing any of this? Like, Mm -hmm. is it worth to be, like, is it worth weightlifting or even doing CrossFit anymore? Like, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling burnt out burnt out and defeated because i just don't know what to do and i don't know how to make myself better i think it's what i'm really frustrated about Mm -hmm. because no matter what i try it just seems like nothing's helping like i went and got a massage and that didn't do anything for my back and i'm trying to stretch daily and it doesn't seem like it's improving and i'm just i'm very defeated (laughs) Mm -hmm. to see at least but uh yeah and i mean i mean a good point of my week is that I've really had, like, I've been blowing up on Instagram. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It's always weird when videos go viral, I guess. I'm not going to say super viral, but it went a bit viral for me anyways. And it's weird when people start following you and stuff. (laughs) Like, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. And it's very weird to have people. Like, I just hit 5K on Instagram, which is big for me. Like, a Mm -hmm. lot of people are like, that's not much. But for me, that's a lot of people. I mean, like, I have a lot of people on TikTok, but on Instagram, that's a lot. And it just, I don't know. It's weird. I mean, I have got really nice comments, beautiful people to connect with, but it also at the same time, I'm just like, oh, I'm shy. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. It is, it is quite a bit of people. Oh my gosh, David. Speaking about that, we need to tell everyone about our fucking neighbor. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Okay. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or if you didn't see my Instagram story, so you don't know about this, but we have a Karen of a oh, neighbor. Yeah. Big like time. really. So, um, we have been doing a lot of at home projects, refinishing our table, chairs, and some bedroom furniture. Mm-hmm. And so we've been doing like a lot of sanding, which I know sanding can be yeah. annoying. But the thing is, we don't sand for eight hours straight. Like our main sanding time is between 12 and 2. When COVID, when COVID is asleep. asleep. So that's the only time we're Only able on to the sand. weekends too. And only on Saturday and Sunday. And even then even we don't then. always do it both Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. So I was outside last weekend sanding away. And well, you can tell that. Oh, part. yeah. So Nicole was sanding and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go in the front, cut some branches off the tree and stuff while Nicole sands. And I get to the front and I don't know, there's this like old woman just like standing there. I feel, I think she was like knocking on her front door, but like the problem is like we're in the back and like we no were sanding, yeah. like she heard us sanding. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, then she likes, it's like, oh, hey, I'm your neighbor from like behind, but like diagonally. Um, it's like, she's like, are you going to be sanding for much longer? Like, it's like really annoying. <laughs> it's like, you guys like sand for like hours on end and like, just, it's like really like aggressive. Like it's annoying. And she's like, oh, but it's not too bad in the front. Of her house? No, in our in front of our house, like oh, hearing the sanding. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So she's like, I'm like, okay, but it's not that bad. She's like, yeah, but it's just in the front. And then she's like, well, I'm like, well, I st- we still have a couple more things to finish. Mm-hmm. So no, we're not going to stop. Mm-hmm. Like we're almost done, but yeah, I don't know. I'm like, okay, but it's legit midday. Yeah. Like, calm down. And yeah. then she's like, well. I'm going to go see the town. I'm going to complain to the town. And do I'm like, okay. And then she kind of just like left. Yeah. I just kept cutting my branches. And I kept sanding. <laughs> yeah. Nicole kept sanding. I mean, this woman. Now we've been a bit petty. All yes. Week. Okay. So we'll get into that. So this woman, honestly, she's lucky she got you because mm-hmm. I find I'm not as nice. Um, but so, yeah, we kept sanding. And I, I mean, that's fine if she wants to talk or whatever, but. You're saying it really nicely, <laughs> you know, like, mm-hmm. um, she was actually quite rude and <laughs> not nice. Um, so like we have the right to sand and I understand mm-hmm. it can be annoying, um, but we're not doing it for hours, which she claimed we were doing and it's, and we're not doing it during the week. This woman's retired. Um, and it's quiet most of the time yeah, like, in our honestly, area. It's like very rare. 95% of the time. It's quiet there's in our area. There's no sound. There's nothing. Yes. Like you could hear legit like two blocks down someone cutting wood. Yes. Like, so it's a very quiet neighborhood. And this woman moved in uh, year, two years two after years us. Two years after us. So we've been living here. They built their house there. Okay. Their house is built there. So they had chose their lot. They chose their spot. So they are surrounded by five houses. And <laughs> four out of the five of those houses are young families. Yeah. And so I posted on my Instagram story that, well, we had, we talked to our neighbor about a year ago about, she's like, oh, somebody complained about their dogs excessively barking. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, that's weird. Who the fuck, you know, complained. So we were trying to figure out. And she said, I think it's the people behind, because the woman who complained is directly behind our neighbors were like on a diagonal to her, to the person who complained. But their legit back porch is like two feet. On top. Like on top of their backyard yes so So they chose to build a house there and um and so my neighbor actually saw my instagram story and messaged me the one about the dogs and she said yeah she's also so she went to the town about them and their dogs which their dogs are normal dogs like Mm -hmm. their dogs don't do anything crazy their dogs are dogs dogs are gonna bark (laughs) Mm -hmm. anyways and so the neighbor beside them on the other side of them, so similar to us, has kids and they have a pool. And she, my neighbor told me that that woman complained to them about their kids being too loud playing in the pool. Yeah. So like, you know how kids just like 
play, play like scream laugh and like just like have fun be fucking kids yeah so they were complaining about that. apparently apparently they were complaining about that which, which is kind of fucking ridiculous you're gonna complain first of all you moved into a neighborhood with young families this mm-hmm. is a young family neighborhood and you're gonna complain about kids being kids on the weekend mm-hmm. there's not even kids like during the week it's on the fucking weekend and you're gonna complain about them well, that's it. And you're going to call the town on them for the kids playing in their fucking backyard? Mm-hmm. This is her threat is to call the town on them. Anyways, and then I talked to my neighbor further um, and her and her sister were standing in their pool having a normal conversation. And this Karen and her husband were like, oh, people talk so loud around here. It's ridiculous. Blah, blah, blah. And they were like standing in their pool like what the fuck like it's mm-hmm. not like we're screaming at each other well, that's it they're having like a legit conversation oh my gosh like and i stand where i play with cove on her jungle gym and i can hear them in their on their porch yeah we should start saying, so it's hey, almost so like you guys speak too loud so yeah. that being said i was like okay like it's annoying that she complained about me standing okay fine whatever but now that you're going like complaining about literally the people who are behind you who you're complaining about things that aren't in like, you want everyone to be quiet around you. It's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. That's ridiculous. Like, go move in the middle of the fucking woods if you're upset about people talking in their backyard or kids playing in their fucking yeah. backyard. Or honestly, move somewhere that have, like, an HOA or something. <laughs> oh, my that, God. Like, Even then, at an HOA, you can't complain about kids playing. Um, I'm, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh. pretty sure you can. So that being said, uh, I'm feeling very, very fucking petty because that's so rude. Like, okay, come after us, but don't come after the fucking kids. Mm -hmm. And so um, we have a lovely garage gym, if you don't know. And there's a back door in our garage gym. So I've now conveniently placed the speaker to my screamo music when I work out. Through the back door. In the back door. So I have air flowing through the garage now, which is actually kind of nice because it's been so hot. Mm -hmm. And they can listen to my beautiful music with me. Yeah. I love to share my music with them. And I would love if she came around and had a chat with me because it would not be so much of a pleasant chat, which would be kind of fun. Mm-hmm. Anyways, <laughs> we'll see. That's their Karen neighbor. I mean, maybe some of you guys are siding with her saying, you know, she has reason, which of course, fine. But I'm allowed to make a little bit of noise in my backyard. Everyone's allowed to make a little bit of noise. Mm-hmm. And she doesn't control this neighborhood. Like, you can't complain about kids playing. That yeah. that gets me. And it's like, why the fuck did you move in this area? Why did you build a house in this area? She could have chosen a house with nobody behind her. Exactly. But she chose that one. Yeah. Eh. Not a smart lady. No problem. <laughs> okay. We've been talking for a long time. Why don't we just jump into it and answer some of the questions? So... One of the first questions I, well, one of the first questions, one of the first questions that I got is, do you read? If yes, what are you reading? So yes, I like to, I love to read. I love to read so much. Mm. However, I can't say that I've been reading, uh, like I kind of go into phases, but I haven't really found a really good book that I want to sit here and recommend. Um, I'm mostly into self-development books or I'm a little romance kind of gal. Me, I love true romance. Um, I also love though on Apple books, they have free books that you can read. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I like to read, they're short books, but I like to read them. So I usually pick those up once in a while. So I don't have like a particular book that I'm like, yes, I'm reading right now. Uh, I will recommend though, one of my favorite books is um, the Jay Shetty one. Shit, what the hell is it called? Ah, oh, why can't I think? Jay Shetty. Um, do you read any books, Dave? Why don't you talk? Mm, that? Me? I honestly do not. <laughs> <laughs> you try. No, I try, but I don't know. Right now, I have on my nightstand um, a book that I bought like... Three what? years ago? No, more than that. Like really? Six years ago, probably. Oh. Six, six seven years ago. It's uh, The Man in the High Castle. Mm-hmm. So, I saw previews. Like, I think honestly, I think I bought that book once because I was watching a Casey Neistat video, mm-hmm. and he was like doing like a like book of the month or like a book club or something. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that book actually looks interesting. Never read it. Um, so are you no, going I, to I read it? it. I started honestly. I started reading a little bit, and then I saw that it came out on Amazon Prime. As like a. 
as movie? like a, a show. Oh, okay, okay. And now that I think there's like six, seven seasons to it. Oh, wow. But like I started like watching it on there mm-hmm. and I was like, oh, like this is cool. And then never ended up reading it. But now it's on my nightstand. So I'm going to try and read it. Oh, so nice. We'll okay. see. The book I actually want to recommend, though, is the Jay Shetty Think Like a Monk. If you're into self-development, go read that book. I love it. I love it. I love it. I really resonated with that book. Um, but yeah, I do like to read, but there's nothing particular that I'm reading right now. So the next question is, um, any advice for new parents and training balance? So I think we've done a couple episodes on this or mm-hmm. talking about this. Really, I would say the main thing is finding a good routine. It's not easy. A good balance. Uh, like a but having a good routine like mm-hmm. so you go at lunch when you can um at work like you're yeah. able to leave at lunch and then when you come home you take over cove and i'm able to go to the gym and do my workout so it's finding whatever works because it's hard to say because everyone has different routines but it's like really you and your partner have to figure out like what your works routine best, yeah Obviously, there has to be sacrifices made, and I believe, like, for us personally, working out is a huge aspect to our life, so we do make sacrifices, Um, and I think that just trying to find that routine as a parent is very important, and sticking to that, you know, Mm -hmm. and of course, like, there's some days where you're not going to be able to fit in that routine because kids are well, kids, kids are going to come first. And well, every day is so different, so different. And you don't know if there's something that's going to happen or you're just so burnt out from taking care of your kids. You're like, I can't work out, but Mm -hmm. sometimes working out is good. It's really just trying to find, well, that balance. And it's not always easy, but it's also important to make sure that you're just implementing that in your routine, just like you're brushing your teeth, just like you're going to bed. Like Make sure that your routine's down to a T, that you have that time to go to the gym. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily like you have to go for like two hours. Like it's just to get like, just try and get it like something in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like as long as you move. Yeah, exactly. Get Maybe out of your, just go for a run, that's you know, it. Like get go out of the house. Kind of like, it'll just clear your mind. Yeah. You'll be in a better yeah. headspace, I guess. So the next uh, question, I was going to say exercise. (laughs) The next question is really for me because David, I don't think you can answer Mm -hmm. this, but it's the best postpartum exercises. So for me personally, I mean, it really just depends how your birth goes. I really struggled with my core. I'm still struggling with my core now. I think, yeah, the best exercise though, wasn't it like walking? Well, first of all, yes. Walking is the best rehab exercise you could ever fucking do. But if you want to get back into the gym, I really recommend on learning how to properly breathe and brace your core. That's something that's important, especially if you're going to be doing heavy lifting, but also um, doing, it's called dead bugs. Variations of a dead bug is super important and super good for your core and good for stabilization and just overall core. Like it's not just you're working your abs, it's your entire core that you're working and it's really great for bracing. And then also... um, called bird dogs as well those Mm. were two of my main exercises that i did those are really great for bracing your core is because after you come back from postpartum the main things you want to be working on is your core not doing sit-ups or anything like that but learning how to strengthen your core again and another one actually is glute bridges just like lying on the ground and then doing glute bridges like that nothing special uh is actually really really important so yeah those those three are the best if you're going to come back postpartum for looking for exercises. Of course, see a PT, like a physiotherapist, if you need to. Mm. Um, next question is CrossFit Games podium picks. So the CrossFit Games are happening literally as we're watching this. Mm. So Dave, do you want to? Do you have an idea of who you think is going to come in for second and third on both sides, or mm. who you want? I guess. Okay. Well, <laughs> me, who I would like is for the on the men is. OG like Pat Vellner. Yeah. Like he's like he needs yeah. to fucking win it. Like he needs to stop acting like fucking <laughs> fucking up and then just win it. <laughs> Finally get that first cuz yeah. he's been like so like the top for yeah. so long. He just mm-hmm. needs that little victory. Yeah. Then I think either mm, I think maybe Medeiros will come second and Krenikov third. Okay. What about the your girl picks? And the girls I think it might be Laura Horvath's year. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping because her mm-hmm. too, like she's always been look like 
She's always overlooked. Overlooked. Like it's always like all oh, Mal or yeah, all Tia. these like yeah. Tia or like the, the like mm-hmm. Americans, mm-hmm. I guess. But it, like, cause she's kind of like different and she, I don't know. I yeah. think she needs to win that, but I think she can cause she came second last year. She, she has the capability, I think of doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so. then hmm, in second place. I think maybe, hmm, I don't know. I don't follow, like. You don't follow the girls as, as much? much? I don't follow the guys as much either. Like, I I kind of look, like, kind of see, like, there's some, like, oh, geez. Like, I don't think Katrin's, I think Katrin might be top 10, yeah. top 5. We'll I'm see. really curious to see how she turns out. Because I think she's doing pretty good. Matt Fraser, yeah. But then there's, like, there's, like, an up and coming, like, I think it's Gabby Migala. Oh, yeah, Gabby Migala. She Migala. seems to be. I don't think she'll podium, though. No, I think she'll. I think she'll be either top ten. Mm-hmm. But uh, other than that, maybe Danielle Brandon. You think be, she'll po- podium? I don't know. Maybe third. Oh, I think. Oh, like maybe. Top five. Yeah, I could see Danielle Brandon podium. Podium. It depends. Being. Just depends the workouts, yeah. honestly. Uh, other than that, I don't really. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, well, for like myself, I think for the guys, my guess is honestly. I want to say Pat Vellner coming first, but I don't think so. I know. <laughs> I really think it's going to be Krenikov, Vellner, or maybe Medeiros and Vellner. Mm. I think it's going to be those three, though, on the podium, especially since Ricky Garrard isn't there. I think mm-hmm. it'll be those three. I'll be shocked if there's anyone else on top of that podium. Maybe. You know who I think might be a wild card on that podium, but I think will do good? Jeffrey Adler. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I forgot about him. Yeah, I think he might do really. I hope he. Mm. I think he'll podium. Yeah, for sure. And for the girls, for me, because I follow the girls closely, <laughs> I think it's going to be Horvath. I really want her to be on top. But then for second and third, I honestly don't know. I'm kind of thinking Emma Carey is pretty unstoppable, but Emma Lawson too, I think is pretty unstoppable. So one of those young girls will be on top of the podium, especially since Haley's not there, Mal's not there. One of those two will be on the podium. And then I also think Annie Thor's daughter. Mm might get back on that podium i'll be surprised Mm. if she doesn't yeah yeah i forgot about her too (laughs) yeah i think that's what it's i haven't been keeping up on uh, (laughs) my crossfit i think those will be kind of our top girlies Mm. um the next question is favorite place to travel Mm. well i have so many (laughs) i know it depends the mood we're in Honestly, I think Hawaii, uh, Hawaii is mine. Yeah. I don't know. I love out west of Canada because mm-hmm. of the mountains. I like Hawaii because there's beaches and but mountains. Hawaii was, yeah. I don't know. Hawaii's that island Hawaii. life. Yeah. I loved honestly, Italy too. Like, so grounding. Italy yeah. was a bit chaos. It was chaos, but also beautiful. Getting scammed too. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah a bit we'll chaos. We'll get that another day, yeah. But yeah, I think Hawaii, I think Hawaii is just that island life, Mm -hmm. kind of like carefree Mm -hmm. kind of thing. Chill, laid back. It's not too bad when you don't have to work. Not in the touristy places though. No, like you gotta not go to Waikiki. Everywhere else is just chill. Yeah. I love it. And I think, yeah, being able to kind of just drive around the whole island, Mm -hmm. that's also the thing. Okay. Next question. Your number one health habit that everyone should do. Do you have one? Oh, fuck. (laughs) <laughs> um, i honestly think walking walking mm. is gonna be that number one thing that i think everyone should do if not at least getting as many plant foods as you can in your body mm. yes i think yeah okay i think obviously like eating a balanced kind of diet yeah but it doesn't have to be like it can be like 80 percent of the time mm-hmm. and like being like 20 percent like mm-hmm. junk but also kind of like mobility mm-hmm. <laughs> like um yeah no just like kind of like holding like a deep squat just like stretching and mobility yeah because yeah. honestly we lose that deep squat mm-hmm. so fucking fast we've been noticing how just cove just sits in a squat like now. he just squats down he's just playing with and his toys like in a deep squat i'm like man okay i know but i'm honestly pretty grateful that i'm pretty modal and able to kind of do that too yeah i'm as stiff as a brick so really i'm just kind of gonna try and keep that mobility mm-hmm. for as long as i fucking can yeah so hopefully by the, when i'm 90 i can still fucking do it we'll see goals goals but yeah we'll keep you updated <laughs> <laughs> okay so finally the last question what supplements do you take 
uh protein Ooh, i take protein not every day mm-hmm. because i forget mm-hmm. but what i've been taking every day so far it's pretty much creatine and magnesium mm-hmm. that's pretty much my staples what i've been kind of yeah. taking oh maybe some bcas bca electrolytes yeah but not every day no i mean but, yeah. mostly yeah for me it's protein and i want to get back on that creatine train once i'm training more fuck mm-hmm. <laughs> It's, I haven't been really wanting to get on creatine just because uh, I haven't been training as intense as I want to be mm-hmm. or lifting as much as I want to be. Um, and then, I mean, I don't take magnesium every night, but I do take it quite often. And then I'm also now starting collagen. Mm-hmm. That's something that I'm looking into just to see if that's going to help with my back. Maybe there's an issue with that. Um and I take electrolytes and BCAs too. I don't take pre-workout. I can't stand taking pre-workout mm-hmm. unless I really, really need to. And yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Well, for a while I took pre-workout, but I stopped for a little bit. And I, honestly, there's not that much of a difference. Mm-hmm. Like I think it's a bit like overhyped. I, I, don't know. I don't know. It depends what you take. Like you take shit with like a thousand milligrams of fucking just, caffeine. Then it's like almost taking crack. So I almost worry though. Like I feel like pre workout. Okay, we're gonna get into our supplement talk, mm. but pre workout's a little glamorized. Um, just because I feel like unless you're really really tired, and I know like a lot of people who take pre workout are bodybuilders who are getting close to the show, low weight, low um, food that they're consuming yeah. so that they can hit stage weight. A so lot the of them is probably low. Exactly. So that's really what pre workouts for. I mean, you can take pre workout. Also, if you're like an athlete who's working out for hours and hours a day, maybe you need that energy boost. But at the same time, for the average person, I don't know. I don't know if it's really. Maybe it is if you're feeling really tired. But I don't feel like it's necessary for every fucking gym session. Mm-hmm. Personally, like I maybe that's my hot take. I think it just depends the session. Um, it's not 100 <laughs> percent necessary. Yeah. But. Other people are going to be like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. Some people are really shit. committed to their pre-workout, and I'm like, eh, I, I, I can live without it. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Well, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this chatty episode, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.